Hello, thank you so much for coming back and joining me for this week's Monday Must Have. So today I'll be trying out the CoverGirl Outlast Active 24 Hour Foundation. So I'll be applying this, wear test, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see that, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload daily videos on budget lifestyle. So it can be an affordable drugstore foundation. It can be a recipe, shopping with me, stuff like that. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, bookmark my page. I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, I'd love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like to. So CoverGirl is now cruelty free. You do get one fluid ounce and I picked up the shade Classic Ivory. So this does have SPF 20 in it. It's supposed to give you full coverage and supposed to be water resistant and sweat resistant. It's just supposed to stay a really, really long time. So um, my skin is clean and moisturized. I'm not wearing primer but I want to show you guys up close. My skin's not looking super great. Um, I haven't been sleeping well. Just extremely, extremely stressed out. So my skin's showing it. It has a lot of discoloration, but... Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. This is gonna be too light for me. I will adjust with bronzer and everything, but let's see. Has a little bit of a fragrance, nothing bad. Okay, so this is one thin layer on this side of my face. Um, I think it has really nice coverage. It looks skin-like. As you can see, it does have a little tiny bit of a glow to it. Nothing like out of control, but it covered up those discolorations really, really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Like I said, the color's a little bit off from my chest because I have been getting sunburned, but uh, um, I think it looks really, really nice. It's got good coverage. I'd say this is a very high medium, light full. Um, so yeah, I think, and it feels very lightweight. Um, tiny, tiny bit still tacky. I mean, I always personally set my foundations, but uh, I think it's looking really, really nice on the skin. It doesn't look mask-like. Um, so I'm gonna get really close so you can see this. Um, I think it looks really, really beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my day. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to do today. I got some cooking and cleaning and, and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I'll touch base with you guys here in a little bit. Um, and I'll definitely have more makeup on and it will be a little bit more adjusted to the rest of my body. So yeah, so far I'm liking it. I'll see you here in just a sec. Hello, so it's been about seven hours and I've done a lot. I changed out the cat litter, um, I scrubbed out the cat box, I made cookies, um, cleaned up the house a little bit. Um, I'm about to go start making dinner here very shortly, but I wanted to show you what the foundation's looking like. So I did powder and everything, put on some bronzer, stuff like that, but um, I haven't touched up, I haven't put on more powder, I haven't blotted, and my nose is looking a little bit dewy, so fingers are clean so just wanna okay so it's supposed to be like transfer proof and like but it didn't leave any kind of mark where I did rub my nose tiny tiny bit it did sink into my forehead lines but every foundation does do that but for no primer I think it's looking really really nice I think it looks really smooth still um, I was able to put a darker powder and some a little bit of bronzer on and it totally I think it looks better it adjusted um, but no I think it looks really really nice it feels it still feels very lightweight it doesn't feel sticky even though I'm a little bit shiny it doesn't look bad at all so I think this look is I think it's really really pretty I think it's a really nice foundation it still looks pretty natural I'm noticing a tiny little bit of gathering around my nose just a little bit though. I mean, it's not bad, and the transfer is very minimal. 
So, I mean, while it does transfer, it doesn't transfer a ton, but I still think it looks really, really nice on the skin. Um, I did lay down, I didn't take a nap or anything, but I did lay down and kind of had my hand up against my face, and I didn't have any transfer on my palm, I don't have any marks, so yeah, it's definitely going to rub off a little if you're like rubbing, but I think if you're just touching your face and stuff, you're going to have very minimal um, transfer. So I think it looks really, really nice, and um, I bought mine on Amazon, it was around 8 or $9. Um, I really, really like the CoverGirl Outlast Active 24-Hour Foundation. Do I really think it's 24 hours? No. Do I think it is sweat-proof, transfer-proof, humidity-proof? No. I, You know, it does meet some of those claims, but it doesn't meet all of them, but it's still a really, really nice foundation, especially from the drugstore. I think it's really, really nice. So I think I will um, possibly, um, yeah, I think... If I can find a shade that will match me a little bit better, because like I said, this is a little light, I think I'll maybe pick that one up. But yeah, I really, really like this. It's a nice foundation. It's not overly matte. It's not overly dewy. I'd say it was a satin. So yeah, the CoverGirl Outlast Active 24-Hour Foundation, it's definitely a Monday must-have in my book. It's really, really nice. I think it looks great. So let me know down below in the comments, what did you think of this? Do you think it looks nice on the skin? Yeah, let me know down below in the comments, but um, I do hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. It shows that you're enjoying the content and getting the word out on great, affordable drugstore products. Leave a comment down below as well. What is your favorite, favorite, favorite foundation? I would love to know down below in the comments, because yeah. And also let me know, are you enjoy enjoying the once a month foundation reviews? Yeah, let me know that too, because I have a whole bunch of foundations and yeah, just let me know if you're still liking them. I'll keep doing them. If not, maybe I'll switch it up. So, I don't know. Uh, don't forget, you're also welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your glam, babe. And don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start autoplaying here in just a moment. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. So, yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.